In this video, I'll be showing you how to make refractory crucibles the simplest way for melting cast iron. Inside I have grog mixed with clay mixed with alumina bricks, the white ones, and hemp. Ideally or authentically it would be rice husks, but since I own none or couldn't find psyllium as well, I choose hemp. Its purpose will be to prevent cracking due to dilatation or contraction because of the heating. This cup will suit me perfectly because of the size and the shape of it. In the bottom you can see three or four cardboard pads which will just help me to shorten it because I do not need it as deep as the cup is. Since crucible extraction is essential, you will need to put some paper lining and you just squeeze it in and then fold the edges over so it creates a form and squish all these crevices. By doing so you significantly reduce the time it takes to smooth the surface of the crucibles and also you remove stress marks i.e. places where they might crack, where the crucibles might crack. Okay, so you can see that I'm just smoothing all the lining out. Everything's nice and tight. Everything that sticks out is squished, at least from the inside. And we're ready to fill it up. Since the lining is made out of paper, try not to use very wet clay and also knead it to remove any air bubbles and make it uniform. The next step is pretty simple and self-explanatory. You just ram the clay down the mold. Make sure that you do not leave any voids and that you get even thickness. So just ram it nicely and work it out. Um, you'll feel it with your fingers. In order to create a hollow inside, you simply press your thumb in the center and press outwards towards the edges and upwards in the same time. Do not press down because it will make the bottom very thin and it will be the location of the crack and failure. Trust me, I know. So just work it around and automatically the height of the crucible will increase as well. Do this to your desired dimensions and specifications. When you're done shaping it and reached your desired um, dimensions, you should unfold the flanges or the edges of the paper and do not pull them upwards because the wet paper will probably tear. Just try to rotate and pull simultaneously and it should pop right out as it just did. Here on the right you can see a previously made crucible just before deciding to make a new one in a video. So the paper lining is still on. I leave it on because it helps with the drying and this is the perfect time to alter. So to level the crucible, to create a beak, to smooth out the inside or the outside, like to flatten the crevices, fill them up, etc.